Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. In this video, I will present three different problems about calculating shaded areas that involve circles. Problem one. We have the following diagram, and we need to figure out the area of the shaded region, which looks like a claw. If each of the three semicircles below has an area equal to 72, and Q is the midpoint of PR, what is the area of the shaded region? I saw this problem posted online, and the person said it was a PSAT question. This is one of the standardized tests that students in America take, and for context, it's usually given when students are about 15 or 16 years old, so this is before most of them would learn any sort of trigonometry. Problem two, a regular hexagon has a side length equal to two. In the interior of the hexagon, Construct a semicircle on each side. The question is what is the shaded area equal to? That is, what is the area that's interior to the hexagon that's not covered by any of the semicircles? This problem comes from a Mathematical Olympiad qualifying test in America, the 2020 AMC 10B, problem 14. Problem three, start with the square and construct the midpoint of each side of the square. At each corner of the square, construct a semicircle centered at the corner. At each midpoint of each side, construct a semicircle centered at the midpoint of each side. Then, in each quarter circle, mark the region that's not overlapping with the semicircle in orange. This will be four areas. For the semicircle, mark the areas that are not overlapping with each quarter circle in blue. This will be a total of four areas. If the side of the square has a length equal to seven, the quarter circle has a radius equal to three, and each semicircle has a radius equal to two, what is the difference in areas between the orange areas and the blue areas? I want to thank Andre for the suggestion, and this comes from a junior mathematical Olympiad. Pause the video if you'd like to give these problems a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve these problems. Let's solve problem one. The area of this claw will be equal to the area of the common region between the flat semicircle and the tilted semicircle minus the area that's common between the two flat semicircles. And then we need to add back in this area, which we subtracted out. So this is a 20 degree sector. So we have a simple equation. Now, since all three semicircles have the same area of 72, all three semicircles are congruent. So the common region between any two of these semicircles will exactly be equal to each other. So these two areas will cancel out. So the area of this claw is exactly equal to the area of a circular sector that has a central angle of 20 degrees. Now we were given that each semicircle has an area equal to 72, and each semicircle spans 180 degrees. So this area is equal to the area of a semicircle multiplied by 20 over 180, and that equals 72 multiplied by one over nine, which is equal to eight. And that's the answer. Now let's solve problem two. There are many approaches to solve this question, but I will show one that I find visually interesting. First, connect opposite vertices of the hexagon to divide the hexagon into six equilateral triangles. Then connect midpoints of sides that are two sides apart. This will create a mesh of equilateral triangles. So now the area that we want to calculate is exactly equal to six times the area of one of these blue slices. But what's the area of one blue slice? Notice that each side length is equal to two and each semicircle spans the side length as its diameter. So the radius of each semicircle is equal to one. 
That means each equilateral triangle has a side length equal to one, and the radius of the circular sector is equal to one. Furthermore, since we have equilateral triangles, the central angle will be equal to 60 degrees. So let's now calculate the area of one of these blue slices. It's equal to the area of two equilateral triangles minus the area of a circular sector. So each equilateral triangle has an area that's equal to s squared root three over four. So we want two times that. Then we want pi r squared times 60 divided by 360. Now each equilateral triangle has a side length equal to one and the circular sector has a radius that's equal to one. So s squared equals r squared equals one. So we substitute this in to get two root three over four minus pi over six. Let's now simplify this to a fraction with the denominator of six, and this is equal to three root three minus pi all over six. Now the area we want is exactly six times this area, and this simplifies to be three root three minus pi, which is approximately 2.05. And that's the answer. Now let's solve problem three. I have to admit, when I first saw this problem, I was stumped. My first approach was to try to figure out the area that's intersecting between the quarter circle and the semicircle. But this turns out to be a very complicated and difficult calculation. So after many months of putting the problem aside, I thought there has to be an easier way. So here's how I thought about it, and I just struck magic. So I thought, let each of the orange areas have an area that's equal to A units. Let the overlap between the quarter circle and the semicircle have an area equal to B units. And let each of these blue regions have an area of C units. Now by symmetry, this will also be B units on the other side of the quarter circle. Same thing in the semicircle. So now our problem can be translated in terms of A, B, and C. Four orange areas will be equal to 4a, and we want to subtract 4c. So all we need to do is figure out 4a minus 4c. Furthermore, a plus 2b will be equal to the area of one quarter circle. Then the area of the semicircle will be c plus 2b. And now comes the magic. We'll multiply each of these equations by 4, so we have 4a plus 8b is equal to 4 times the area of a quarter circle then we have 4c plus 8b is equal to four times the area of a semicircle. All we have to do now is subtract the second equation from the first and the b terms will cancel out. So we have 4a minus 4c is equal to four times the area of a quarter circle minus four times the area of a semicircle. Each of these areas can be easily calculated. We know the radius of each quarter circle is three. So the area of each quarter circle is pi times three squared all over four. We know the radius of each semicircle is two, so the area of each semicircle is pi times two squared over two. Just going through the arithmetic, we get that 4a minus 4c is equal to pi. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.